For more than 50 years, Goodfellow, a leading global supplier of metals, alloys, ceramics, glasses, polymers, compounds, composites, and other materials, has been ahead of the market in product innovation. Our latest initiative, Goodfellow Green Production, uses environmentally sound processes to conserve energy and natural resources. We understand it can be difficult to find the right balance between product quality and reducing your carbon footprint. This is why we've developed a range of materials that do just that, so you can focus on your research and design projects without compromising on quality. Lightweight metal foams that reduce energy requirements while retaining the physical characteristics of the metal. Bio-based and biodegradable polymers derived from renewable resources. Ceramics that are non-toxic. Composites that decompose naturally without leaving a trace. Green graphene produced by a unique, chemical-free process lead-free solder that can allow the joining of traditionally challenging materials without flux. We are using up to 50% more natural resources than the Earth can provide. At our current population, we would need 1.5 Earths. We could save 75,000 trees if we recycled the paper used on the daily run of the New York Times alone. Landfills are composed of 35% packaging materials. All materials used which are part of the green production range may decompose naturally, whether they are exposed to soil, compost or marine sediments. Some of our green production materials are also non-toxic, bio-based, biodegradable and derived from renewable sources. The materials in our initial green production range include graphene, cellulose acetate, polyhydroxybutyrate, polyhydroxybutyrate valerate, poly-L lactic acid, and polyhydroxyalkanoate. Graphene is only one atom thick, meaning a gram of graphene can cover an entire football field. Heating spreading solutions such as heat sinks, indoor solar cells, display screens and various medical, chemical and industrial processes. Cellulose acetate films have been widely used for graphic purposes and photography since about 1940. They were introduced as a replacement for the highly flammable celluloid film and became a base for magnetic tape. Polyhydroxybutyrate was first isolated and characterized in 1925 by French microbiologist Maurice Lemoyne. It decomposes whether exposed to soil, compost or marine sediment. In 1989, Dr. Patrick R. Gruber, along with his wife, discovered the process of producing the material from corn on his stove at home. To make one kilo of PLA requires just 1.6 kilos of sugar. PHBs are produced when there is an excess carbon source with the limitation of one of the essential nutrients. The only family which is entirely produced and degraded in living cells, PLA is produced by polymerization through lactide formation. Used for biodegradable containers such as shampoo bottles and food containers, coatings for paper and cardboard, food wraps and sutures, gauzes and coatings for medicines. Going greener together. Reduce your carbon footprint using our green production materials today.